Hey guys, welcome to Whimsical Wednesday on my own page. Sorry it took me a little bit to get over here. Usually I'm over here by 7.45 and uh, that didn't happen um, because, whoa, uh, I had gold leaf everywhere and I was trying to get set up. So welcome, my name is Tracy and uh, this is my Facebook page, Tracy's Fancy, and I'm coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. Hello, Miss Nina, how are you, hun? Good to see you, what'd you do in between now and then for the last 15 minutes? I, uh, I was painting the lovers. I was making the lovers sticky, that's what I was doing. <laughs> the lovers are setting up um, and we're gonna gold leaf them in just a second to look like this right here. How gorgeous is that? If you did not join us over on uh, Dixie Bell's page, let me tell you what we're doing. I have a seven foot long mirror by four feet tall mirror, three and a half feet tall, three and a half feet tall by seven feet long, uh, a vintage mirror that we've taken the mirror out of and I'm working on just the frame right now. Uh, this is it right here. Let me show you guys what the top of it looks like all the way down to that side. And then you can see that it's got a pair of levers right there. That's its original finish. That's the original finish. Um, and then we started working on it over on Dixie Bell's page. I did some slick stick, which is the white right there. I did a coat of slick stick because it's some, the mirror itself is wood. It's a wood frame. Um, I know it's looking so good. Got a, a body, body break. Um, but it's got some sort of like a resin pour of some sort on top of it. It's very plasticky feel. So I was just a little bit worried about adhesion with that. So I went ahead and coated it. Um, yay. Were you over there, Terry? Did you watch on Dixie Bell? Were you on that page? Okay. You were, you must've been. It is so easy, Terry, and it's so addictive. Even Haley, my daughter, she is not like super crafty. Um, she doesn't have the patience for it. And I taught her a couple years ago to gold leaf and she was like, we were at a table and she's like, what else can we, okay, what else? Bring something else in here, what else can we do? It's so much fun. Um, hello, Melissa, hi, honey. Hey, Kathleen, hello again. So anyway, um, I coated in then a coat of caviar black because I want a very cracked look. I don't want a perfect gold leaf. I want a very, very cracked look, which I got in here. So I'm gonna bring you up close. Hopefully I don't lose you when we go to moving our camera around in here. A lot of times I lose you. If I do, I'll come back. Um, so this is what it looks like right here, guys. So do y'all see like in here, can y'all see that really well? Can y'all see the black? I knew it. See, I knew it. I knew we'd glitch if I move it around. Uh, these are from Target and they're $5, but I went and they don't have them anymore. I'm really bummed. <laughs> I had to go in the house, guys, and make sure everybody was offline, and they are. I don't know why. It, it won't let us move. Anyway, I was showing y'all the lovers. They are super sticky. This is what they look like. Um, that end is the original finish. This is this finish. They're black right now, and we're going to gold leaf those in just a minute. But right now, I want to do some caviar along the bottom. I'm going to get this finished down here on the bottom. So y'all bear with me. I'm just going to do this real quick, a little bit of pouncing. Um, I've got the same brush going as I did before. It's probably even dried a little bit. So you can see that the, uh, the frame is real flimsy. If it weren't for being on live video, I would have this on the floor. I wouldn't do this in an upright position. I'm just doing this for you guys so you can see better. Um, but, uh, it's super shaky. I'm gonna go over here and hold this. Um, I'm super happy into this, super happy into this process. <laughs> I don't know what you mean, but I'm just glad you're super happy. I'm gonna hold this still. 
because I really want a gold leaf, that part right there, but we've got a few steps that we can do first. We have to get our paint on it first so that when it cracks, when the leaf cracks, uh, we see black underneath, which is what I want because my client has a very, very, very dramatic house, uh, very gaudy, and um, so I want it to look uh, kind of gaudy and gothic-y if it is to crack. So I'm going to get some black on here and then that has to dry and then we would use, after that, we would have to coat this with adhesive paste, gold leaf or metal leafing. I'm calling it gold leaf because we're using gold, but you know, leafing comes in all colors. There's copper and, and gold and leopard and pink and blue. It comes in all colors nowadays. It used to just be gold and silver and then they added like copper and now you can get rose gold so anyway, we'll paint this back. We'll uh, gold leaf with the, uh, we'll do the adhesive and then we will leaf it and then you need to seal it. And there's a special sealer for gold leaf as well. Okay, got all that done. That's an awkward position. Um, let's see. I know Michelle said that we could, that I could share pictures of her home, which is mind blowing. I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not just saying that. I didn't even know she was gonna be on there tonight. It is literally mind-blowing, but she did give me permission to share some photos. And I've already forgotten again where she said it is. She told me and I already forgot. I have such a terrible memory when it comes to where people live. I don't forget a, a face. I'm pretty dang good with names and events. I can remember an event, but where someone lives, I'm not as good at. You can tell that this would be a lot easier if this were laid down. It's amazing how light this wood frame is uh, because this mirror takes two people to lift it. When the, when the mirror is in place and it's got its backing on there, it takes two people to pick it up. It's very, very heavy. I don't wanna get that on my floor. I'm only gonna go down about that deep. These big floppy brushes really uh, help when you are getting into all these cracks and crevices. You can just kind of pounce into those areas just like this. If this were on the floor, I'd be going at it like a crazy woman. I would not be being so gentle. I'm being so gentle. That's not the way I work. I am not gentle. I'm like this. <laughs> Almost done, and we can gold leaf, gold leaf the lovers. We're good. It's pretty good to me. I'll get that bottom part when this is laid down. Okay, that's that. Let me set that aside and bring the lovers into view for y'all. Matt got me a piece of plywood, so I could just put that on my lap and put these right here. Okay, here we go. Let's see if y'all can see these. Hola, Miss Vicky. Hello. Um, okay, so what's the best way? Like this? Y'all can see this pretty good, right? Y'all can see that pretty good? Oh, yeah, that looks good. Y'all can see that good. A show. There we go. All right, so I am using a, um, actually this is wet, I don't wanna use a wet one. I am using just an artist brush to do this, okay? Um, you can also use, um, hello Miss Wendy, uh, instead of shipping, maybe you could deliver it to you so you can see it all come together. I can't even imagine shipping that piece. I know, it's gonna take, uh, it's gonna make me have anxiety watching them pull off with it. Uh, I wish I could go there, but it's very far away. Um, Debbie, I am working on a mirror, and this is just a piece. The mirror is seven feet long and three and a half feet tall. It's enormous. And this is a piece that come, came off of the side of the mirror. It's a pair of lovers, and they actually are made out of, um, what did I call this, y'all? I forgot what I called this. What's this stuff called? Anyway, it hangs. They're like heavy, like cement. 
and um, they've been molded and plaster. It's like a plaster. And it's got adhesive, gold leaf adhesive brushed on there already and it's dry. And I will use either my small artist brush or a chip brush just like this uh, to put the gold leaf on. So you can use gold paint, uh, but just there really is nothing truly as reflective as gold leaf. Now I've got some favorite golds, I do. I have some favorite gold paints. But this piece is very special and it needed gold leaf. So here we go. I just start tapping it on, laying the gold leaf down, tapping it on into place. I'm just gonna lay these all over, kind of just cover it up, blanket it in that, tap it around. And you're gonna see, I'm gonna show you, I'll hold it up in just a second so you can see uh, how you can see the black through it. And I don't want all that much black showing and how you go in and fill in those areas and you use all the gold leaf. Gold leaf is expensive. This package here came from uh, Hobby Lobby and it has 25 sheets per pack and it's $8.99. So gold leafing is not cheap. This pack is already almost empty and we are not anywhere near finished. I used to do entire walls. I used to, uh, I put a link for my Amazon. Actually, if you wanna order some uh, leafing through Amazon, uh, I've got the links for there for the adhesive and the sheets as well. So right now I'm just pouncing it all down. And then I'll show you how you go back in because this is a lot of detail, a lot of dimension and a lot of detail. Um, hey, Leah. Hi there, hun. Uh, Debbie, I, I get mine at the, this type of loose sheets, the loose sheet leaves. I just usually pick up at Michael's, uh, not Michael's. Why do I keep saying Michael's tonight? I never go to Michael's. It's Hobby Lobby. I usually get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, but when I do big jobs, like if I do whole walls uh, or I'm covering like an entire piece of furniture, it's just too expensive. I will order it from Amazon. I don't think that the Amazon sh leaf sheets are as brilliant as the smaller packages that you can get at Hobby Lobby, um, but they're good. Now, there's different type of leafing. So, like Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studios, I also use her leaves as well, but those are not loose leaves. That comes on a roll and uh, you scrub, you lay it down, you scrub. The benefit of that type of leafing is you don't have this mess. There's no mess involved. This is very, very messy. I did place an order with her. I do have some of her foils coming for this exact mirror. Um, thinking that I may use it, I'm just not sure. And I'll decide that when, when it gets here. And when it gets here, if I decide to use some of that, I'll just put fresh adhesive on the areas that I wanna put it on and I'll just go right over it. That's the beauty of this. You can just add and layer. You know, it's not like a one and done. You can just add and layer. Okay, so now I'm gonna brush off the excess and bring it up to you and let you see it up close. And now you can see why I put caviar beneath it. Um, you'll be able to see what I was talking about. Now, I will be covered in this stuff, you guys. I'll have to get my shop back out and before I go inside, otherwise the stuff is everywhere. Now, I can see a couple of spots that I actually didn't get enough adhesive on and um, I'm gonna wanna take like a small artist brush and get down in those areas um, and put some fresh adhesive down and then go back and cover those areas because it's too much black. I'll show you in just a second. But I don't mind the cracks and crevices. That's the whole reason I put the layer of black there uh, because I wanted you to be able to see some of that. But some of these, it's too much. Pretty cool though, pretty cool. Okay, look. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, um, yes, you can. It does work with regular, uh, with regular, but not her, like, wait, wait, what's your question? Can you use Jennifer's adhesive? Yes, you can use her adhesive. Okay, that is still, this is still sticky. So see that spot on the back of his head? This right here I missed. I didn't even get that. See the spot on the back of his head? 
I can just put that there, rub it on. You can rub it on with your finger. See this spot right here? I missed that completely. That's a missed spot. That's too much. I don't like that showing. So obviously I'm gonna get a small artist brush. I'm just gonna touch a little adhesive in that spot, wait about 20 minutes or so, let it dry, get nice and tacky, and then I'll just put another, I'll pick up a scrap piece like this and put it right, I'll put like this and put it right on its place and then you just scrub it and it all just rubs in. Like these right here, that's too much. But overall, there's a really, really, really good coverage. But I'll just have to go in. And like I told you when I was doing the mirror over on Dixie Bowl page earlier, um, it looks like it goes fast, but then I get start getting a little anal. I don't want it completely covered. Like in between, like right here between her legs, I love that. See all that? I love being able to see the black in there. But I don't like seeing all of that black like in between their heads and their or that big spot right there. I don't like that. That needs to be fixed. Pretty cool though, right? Okay, so let me bring this up and let me hang it up. Even though it's not complete, let me hang it up for you so you can see. Right. That is amazing isn't that amazing and can you believe guys that we did not even know that those came off this thing has been moved and moved and moved and now it seems so fragile like now that i know it comes off um it makes me nervous <laughs> i don't like it i wish I, I wish it were all one piece and someone asked over on dixie ball page i wonder what the benefit is of it, of it coming off all that we could think of is maybe when you bought the set back in the day whatever the early 70s um Maybe you had options what you could get there. Maybe you could have gotten a cast of bouquet of flowers or maybe you could have gotten cherubs instead of lovers. I don't know. What do y'all think? I know, right? Whoa, it's so beautiful. It is so, so gorgeous. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. I love you so much. Love you so much. So it's perfect. It's perfect for her house. And it's gonna change. It's gonna go from this side, very gaudy gold, to something else on the other side. So, um, super exciting. Um, let's see, can I ask, does anybody have any questions? Hey, Lori, hi, good to see you, hun. Anyone have any questions about leafing at all? Um, this is one of Jennifer's, okay? This is one of hers, this is a roll. This is what her foils look like. They come in a roll, they're not fragile. They're not like these that are, you know, come in the sheets and they're super fragile and they get all crumbly. It's not like that. Um, but there's a different process. Like you put your adhesive down, you wait 30 minutes and then you put the foil down and then you scrub it with like a wire scrubber or a, a hard like floor scrub brush. And then it lets loose of the plastic paper and a plastic sheet comes off but all of the print stays on the piece. So you, it takes away all the mess but it's a, it's a little bit more work, I think. But she has got some amazing foils. And I do have a link to her. And if I go, when to, her stuff is gonna arrive. I got this, but this isn't quite what I wanted for this piece. Uh, but when I get the ones that I ordered, if I do decide to use them, I will post about it and I'll share her link as well. It's my affiliate link, so. Anyway, guys, well, that's it. Thank y'all for joining me over here on this page and helping me leaf the lovers. That needs to be a song. What is that song that's coming to my head? Ha, 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 ha. I can't. <laughs> I am not a singer. I am not a singer. What if you got gold leaf somewhere you didn't intend to put it? Um, I don't know. Mineral spirits? Maybe. Maybe mineral spirits? Uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Kim, you're so sweet. Thank you. Uh, what is the name of foil? Oh, this one, I do not know the name of this one. It's a small leopard, that's for sure. It's like a small leopard, but it's not like gold gold. It's not as gaudy gold as this. Um, but I will send you my link. I have a link for her and I'll send it to whoever is asking. I think Lori was asking too. I'll give you the link to her because it's amazing. Um, her, her foils are really amazing. It's just a different process and I'll do a live on that on another time. Uh, and I don't know, that's leopard, that one, but I don't know. She has several different leopards, so I'm not sure which one that is, and it doesn't have a name on the tube. Um, probably had the removal cast plaster pieces, so it would be easier to move, as you said earlier. Very fragile. I know, but, like, we never took them off. 
that there was like some sticky, someone had put like sticky pads on the bottom and they were just kind of stuck. So I don't think any of us, like the estate sale person, the person that bought it from the estate sale person, the person who moved it for me to here and me all the times I've moved it around in my shop, we had no idea. It's been upside down, right side up. <laughs> we had no idea, no idea. Yes, Joy, that is true. It is like that. It is like a transfer. Um, yes, Brittany, thank you. You got that from my singing? Did you get that from my singing? Or is it because I said, the lovers, leave the lovers? It's that song. Well, how does that go? Uh, 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 you totally got it from me humming. It's my skills. It is my singing skills, and it is your name that tune skills. We are a good pair. We're a good pair. <laughs> Can't believe you got that. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> is it 30 ways to leave your lover? I love that song. 50 ways, 50 ways to leave your lover. It's not 30 ways, it's 50 ways to leave your lover. Oh my gosh, I used to know every single word of that song. You're my kind of lover. That's the one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Matt would be dying if he was out here. He's such a song person. Like he knows all the words and all the names and who sang them. And I don't ever. Y'all are saying, y'all are so funny. 60. I think it's 50 ways to leave your lover. I will. I will go through this video and send you all the link. Oh, you want it for your gumball machine. It would be amazing. I can't believe I haven't left a gumball machine. Can y'all believe that? I'm posting about that tonight. You guys actually have to post about that in 30 minutes. I don't want to blow it right here. Y'all watch my Tracy's Fancy Watch tonight. I have a post going up. I got to get it done. I'm going to get off of here and go right to that and get it done. It is a heartfelt, crazy good feeling, good feel story that we all need. I got a good feel story for y'all tonight. Thank you, Dina, for asking me that question. I'm not going to blow it because I got I to gotta calm down and write this really good from the heart story about this lady. About that. What do you think about the bags of loose foils pieces? Oh, I never have bought them. Look, honestly, this is what it looks like. It looks like this. It looks like your crumbs. See? See those? That's what it looks like. See it? That's what they look like. Um, I, you end up with that anyway. To me, that, that's if you want to sprinkle or fill in, like filling in in those areas, like you wanna pack it down in some areas and then take your brush and scrub it and then the loose stuff goes away. But I always end up with my own sprinkles. I just, I've never bought those, uh, what do they call them, shavings or, she's calling them loose foils, I forgot what they're called, but sprinkles. <laughs> Does the second one you found have the same piece of plaster or is it different? It's the same. It's a lover, Lisa, it's a lover. It's a pair of lovers as well. That's a good question. Because you would think if they gave you options, and I've never seen this set before ever in all the 12 years of doing furniture, and I see two of the same mirror in the same city, you would think it would be a different a different uh, decoration there. Leaf your lover. That's what I'm saying. 50 ways to leaf your lover. <laughs> We, I'm going to sing it. I'm going to, I am going to remember the words. I'm going to go back and practice and I'm going to video myself singing 50 ways to leave your lover. I will, I'm going to do that. I, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Matt's going to die. Uh, uh, what is that? What is what? What is what, Vicki? That stuff? That was gold foil shavings. Is that what you're talking about? Because we just did this. Okay, guys, I got to go because I got a post to do and I am covered in foil and I got to go wash some brushes. I love y'all. Thank y'all for joining me. I will see you all, uh, what's today? Not on Thursday. Friday morning. Coffee talk, 9 o'clock. 9.45 Instagram. Dixie Bell. <laughs> love you guys. See you later. Bye.